it's Huff. I am back again and this is going to be my January's January empties video. I cannot speak today. Um, I have decluttered quite a few things. Well, not quite a few. A few things for me. Um, it hasn't been a huge month, but I'm, I'm pretty happy with where I'm at so far. Um, now, quite a lot of the empties decluttery stuff is actually from projects, so you may have already seen them in the video updates for those but I will, for those people who don't watch those, I will show them again and give a quick little review on them and whether I would buy them again, that kind of thing which is generally what I use my empties for so we will start with the project items because there are quite a few of them um, we have the Elf Lip, Lip Exfoliator I don't really like didn't really enjoy this very much I'd really like to try out the new ones. I don't know if we can get them in Australia at this point in time, but I'd like to try out the new ones because apparently they're a bit more gentle and I found this just to feel, it just felt a little bit too rough on my lips basically. So if I could try out the other ones, I probably would. I now do not have a lip exfoliator at all. Um, do not have one in my collection at the moment. Um, the Nivea uh, Daily Essentials Regenerating Night Cream, that's what it looks like. Um, blue container. Um, I would probably buy this again. It's per perfectly fine and it's a reasonable price unlike some of the other ones that I've actually used. Uh, then we have the Urban Skin Co. Skin Care Co. Infused Body Balm. I don't like the smell on these. I've used a couple of these and there's something about the smell that I really just don't like. And the Manicare Cuticle Therapy like cuticle oil stuff. It was fine. It wasn't my favourite. It doesn't really have smell, which is nice. But I think for the price, there are others that are actually better because this is actually kind of pricey. This is like 14 odd dollars or something. And yes, it does last ages, but I think it's a bit overpriced, personally. And the first declutter, which was from the same project, is the liquid face primer from Kmart. This is supposed to be moisturising, not that I found that it was particularly moisturising. I don't think my skin liked it particularly either. Um, and it's relatively cheap. I think they're like $4. So I actually was all the way down here. So I've used like half of it. So I only counted half of it in my tally. Um, the way I do my uh, value is something like this which came out of a Bella box I cost at three dollars whether or not that's actually what it cost because that's how much it cost in terms of what I paid for the box so um, you, know, you usually get five items it's like fifteen dollars so three bucks each that's pretty much how I work out those um, if I didn't use all of a product then I basically kind of work out how much I did use of that product and take it from there um, I don't keep very good records of what I spent, so generally when I do my empties, I go and I look at how much it would cost me to replace an item. So like how much it would cost me to replace this particular item um, is the other way I work out. So another declutter is the Australis Mint Condition Lip Gloss. Um, I had this... This is supposed to be moisturising, but I was actually finding it was drying out my lips, which is why it's gone. And I always had trouble squeezing this down and working out how much I had, but I've used the least half of it. Like, I used this solidly for, oh, I think it was nearly three weeks, um, up to four times a day. Um, and, yeah. So, it's about half done. And the last of the declutteries from Projects was this Essie Beyond Cozy Nail Polish. It's down here somewhere. I'd already put thinner in it twice and it was it's like quite goopy and horrible looking. Um, and also it was starting to chip and not just random chipping, like really bad chipping. And when I realized that it was actually not really in use anymore it was I put it on my toenails. Nothing chips on my toenails. I can wear the same nail polish on my toenails for like three weeks and it grows out rather than chipping. It's chipping off in great big pieces, so I'm, I'm done with it. I, I have too much nail polish to actually care um, <laughs> enough to actually try and salvage it or just try to use it, so it is gone. Uh, I finally, today, 
finished my Pond's BB Cream, even though I thought this was finished like two weeks ago. Um, I was watching Amber F and she was saying how like you, you put air into it and then you shake it like this. Uh, like an extra week out of it doing that. Thanks Amber. <laughs> been trying to get this out of my collection for ages. I actually really like this. Um, I don't even know if I can get it again. Uh, I've only ever seen the face moisturiser of this in Australia. I got this on on sale or something. Um, the number of compliments I get when I wear this out on my skin and I've actually been asked twice what I'm wearing because it looks so good. So I'm like, okay. So obviously this and my skin agree. Um, and it's quite light. It goes on. You can build it up if you need to. Um, but yeah. If I could get hold of this again, I would buy it again. <laughs> And the last one is from my um, 100 colourful empties of the year. This was two things that were in the blue category. These are two samples of the Germain de Cappuccini Hydra Cure, which is their Hydra Active Cream for normal to dry skin. Um, and the other one is normal to combination. I was having a lot of problems with my skin, particularly it being super dry down through here, like it's fine everywhere else. Super dry here, go figure. And I was having some trouble with contact allergy on my eyelids, which I think I've solved now, but um, this stuff is fantastic. Like, amazing fantastic. You know how normally with samples you can't tell if it's really any good and whether you'd actually want to buy it? I want to buy this. There's a problem, but I want to buy this. This stuff was so amazing when my skin was dry. It just, it would be all dry and flaky. And then I put, and like these samples, I got probably, these are like three mil samples. I probably got four uses or five uses or something out of each of these, which is freaking amazing. The, my skin just changed completely. It was soft and smooth and this stuff smells really nice as well. Like, I think it smells really nice. This stuff is frigging awesome. I got these samples um, when I was at beauty school. And I've just had them sitting there for ages thinking, oh, I don't really want to use those. They're probably terrible. Oh, my God. They are so amazing. <laughs> Only problem is, 50 mil of this stuff is $99. <laughs> it's... I mean, it would last ages because you really do only need like a tiny little bit. But 99 bucks for 50 mils is like, this is like maybe 10 to $15 for 50 mil. <sighs> but this stuff is freaking awesome. If I could get a hold of, I actually have a whole bunch more of these and I even have like a little pack, which is not exactly the same lotion, but it's a similar kind of one. Um, like little sample, like proper container size samples. But I tell you, this stuff is really, really good. Um, I don't know what their other range is like, but if you have any dry scaly skin anywhere, this stuff, mm, absolutely the bomb. Wonderful, wonderful product. Um, I didn't actually include any price for these, even though they're you know, pretty expensive as far as samples go, because I got them for free. Like I didn't pay anything for them at all. So now we'll move on to the things that were not um, in projects. So as always, there is a packet of Lacura round, makeup rounds. Um, I was using these a lot to take off nail polish, but I got these other like ones that look like this. I got like a six pack of them, so I've been using those instead. So there's only one of these in. Normally there's like two or three of them. Um, also from Lacura is their Revitalize Mature Skin Face Cleansers. I didn't particularly like them, I have to say. They were very wet to start off with, but yeah, I did, I did. they're very good value for money. They're like $1.79 for 30 so in Australia that's bloody cheap. Um, but yeah, I I just did not particularly like these ones. I prefer the Swisper ones over those. 
I have a simple kind to eyes eye makeup remover pads. There's like 30 pads in there. They are very effective at taking off eye makeup. I still, you know, have to work at it a little bit, but um, but I did not find them to be amazing, and I actually found them to be a little bit scratchy on my skin. They're not like completely smooth or anything, so yeah, I probably wouldn't buy these again. Um, this is a declutter. I I found this in my collection. This is a Cancer Council Everyday Sunscreen, and I had a look on the back for its expiry. I mean, I don't know if this has even been opened. Mm, it might actually be alright. Hang on. It's still a safety seal on it. Pretty sure that the um, SPF only breaks down if it's opened. Oh, okay, so maybe I won't de declutter that one because it hasn't actually been opened. Um, I didn't actually put a price on for that one because I can't remember where it got from. Anyway, um, this one I've used at least half of. This is another declutter. This is the LA Colors Eyeshadow Primer. I think my eyelids did not like this very much. It's kind of a uh, nude color. Um, these are not particularly expensive. They're only like a dollar or two, depending on where you buy them from. Um, yeah, so that one, I didn't particularly like it. I did not find that it held my eyeshadow on any better, really. Um, and I don't think my eyelids liked it very much. It may have been one of the things that I was reacting to. Um, but I just didn't like it that much, and I can't see the point in keeping using something I really don't particularly like. That might be causing me a problem. So that one is gone. Um, I only counted like a dollar for it. Uh, next we have my under one of my underarm deodorants. Uh, this is the Rexona Clinical. It's a bit manky. I'm not going to put it any closer. This is the gentle dry one. Um, I tend to... I, I don't like wet, wet um, deodorants. So like, I don't really use a roll-on because I find that I get a rash underneath my armpits. prefer a dry one. This is kind of like a moist dry one. It's... The kind that you wind up and it has it like come out of these little hole things in the top. I don't react to this, so I'm actually quite liking this. Um, I, this is probably the third or fourth one of these I've used. Seems to stop me from stinking real bad, so. So, yeah, I probably would buy another one. In fact, I already have another one that I'm using. It might be a different scent, but same product. Um, this little colour angled brush. I really like colour brushes. I have quite a few of them and I use them all the time and for some reason this little angled brush, well, I don't know what happened to it, but it went really weird on the top. Um, yeah, so I'm getting rid of that. I have enough brushes so I don't need another one like that, but on the whole I like colour brushes. And the last one is actually very sad. It's very, very sad to me. If you saw my makeup collection, you would have seen that I had to declutter one of my products um, because the packaging was broken and it had started going a weird color inside. This is the OCC Lip Tart in Black Dahlia. I got this from Tamara J. And... Focus camera. There is a big hole in the side there, and product was coming out the side, and as you can see it's got a weird colour inside. Um, see, you can see it oozing out, it getting all over my fingers. And black dahlia is not supposed to be bright red. Um, that is not the colour that black dahlia actually is. Um, <laughs> So it's all kind of separated and gone disgusting. Um, yeah, so I'm not I'm not going to risk using it or anything. Um, that there is more like the colour it should be. <laughs> so yeah, it's just, it's not worth the um, risk on that one. So I have sadly decluttered it. Much sad. So 
that is all the things that I have used up or decluttered or moved out or whatever you want to call it. So my January empties total is $94.71, which is a good start to the year. It's not my best start to the year, but it's a good start to the year. So, um, yeah, and no, I am not going to keep all of my products and do an empties at the end of the year showing all of my products. I just, once I do my empties videos, unless they're in a project, I get rid of them. And when my projects end, I get rid of all the products from the project as well. So, no, I'm not going to do an end of year showing all of them. It's, I just do a final numbers thing at the end of the year, so... Um, in case you're wondering, no, I'm not keeping everything. So that is my empties for January. If you want to subscribe, click the bottom down the bottom down there. Uh, click the little bell so you get notified. Leave me a thumbs up if you like empties type videos. Leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments, and I'll see you in my next video. See ya.